This segment sponsored by Viking Psychiatry. I am at Viking Psychiatry, which aims to revolutionize mental health care. They have so many unique treatment plans, and I'm going to speak with their owner and learn more. Let's do it. Joining me now is Sean Goddard, who is the owner here at Viking Psychiatry. Hello, Sean. Hello. How's it going? Good, thank you. Good. Well, first and foremost, I have to say congratulations to you for hitting three years of having your practice here thank you in Fort much. Wayne. And I know that your practice is so important to you. So can you start off by giving us an overview of Viking Psychiatry? Sure, Viking Psychiatry, we've been in Fort Wayne for about three years now. Um, like you said, we uh, started off doing medication management and offering deep TMS, and we've converted to more of an interventional psychiatry practice. So we offer different modalities like Spravato, deep TMS, and other options to really be able to help people target their depression and other mm -hmm. mental health disorders. Yeah, you know, mental health is just such, uh, it's an epidemic, right? It's something that is truly impacting so many people and I think that the management of it is something that people are still trying to figure out and so this conversation is so important and I love that you offer something that's unique and so what makes you unique to the Fort Wayne community? Sure I, I think one of the things is what well, we offer different right I have a passion to offer people treatment options at work right we often get tired of another pill yeah. and people want different options and so we give different options. Yeah and so let's talk about the pill side because that was the original way that this type of uh, mental health disorder was treated. Mm -hmm. People would have to be prescribed that. And I know that you have a really long history in this industry. And so what do you think about that transitional moment now from the pill to the types of treatment that you offer? Yeah, so what we know is that the medications, while they've been around and been here for a while and are used and can be successful, they don't have the highest success rate. Mm -hmm. And when people have tried one, they've tried two, they try three, they're really wanting something that's gonna work, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, trials doesn't usually doesn't mean a week. It means three months, five months, six months, right. a year. And so when you've tried two or three medications, you can have years behind you of being depressed and not really mm -hmm. getting any benefit. And so uh, people want hope, right? And that's mm -hmm. what we wanna offer here at Viking Psychiatry is hope uh, and a change. Yeah, and hope really starts with um, a journey and a testimony. And I know that you have a personal testimony that really gave you the passion to start your business. So tell me a little bit of history behind you and how you got here today. Sure, I grew up largely in the system. So group homes, boys ranches. I lived on the streets of San Francisco at the age of 13 uh, on my own. And so um, went in the military. That's how I originally got uh, out of the situation that I was in. And uh, have had a lifetime history myself of struggling uh, uh, with depression and PTSD and um, years back as an adult I struggled with another bout of depression and mm -hmm. I saw an amazing provider and was offered all types of medications right and uh, medication after medication really didn't um, cause me any benefit mm -hmm. and I myself was beginning to lose hope and actually it was just somebody who was at the office not a provider but a receptionist who said hey have you ever heard about this other treatment option right yeah. and so it was because of her um, that I found out about another treatment and I received that treatment and it changed my life and I know that I wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for that mm -hmm. um, and so that's our goal my hope here is that uh, I believe it takes just one it just yeah. takes one person uh, to step in and make a difference and our hope is whether it's me whether it's Rochelle up front any one of my staff or one of the people that we've uh, treated and allowed to move on uh, to be that one for somebody else to guide them here and be able to get the treatment that they desperately need. Yeah, and that's so important. And so I love that that journey brought you here and you actually offer the treatment that you received. Mm -hmm. So you saw firsthand how it works and how it can truly impact people in a whole different way. And so let's talk about your services a bit more. Mm -hmm. So can you go through and kind of explain? So first, deep TMS, what is 
that? Sure, uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, right? Okay. And it's a fancy term for uh, stimulating the pathways in the brain, right? Mm -hmm. Because when we have depression, especially when we have it for a long time, mm -hmm. our pathways begin to actually die down and give up, right? Mm -hmm. um, kind of like we do when we've lost energy and hope and motivation, right? And right. all we want to do is sit on the couch. Well, the brain, all it's wanting to do is sit on the couch, mm -hmm. right? And so what uh, deep TMS enables us to do is to get stimulation in there, right? Mm -hmm. And wake up those pathways and through doing that um, we're able to improve outcomes in depression, anxiety, OCD and many more things as wow. well. Wow, That's incredible. Some of these things, who knew that there was actually um, um, a process that you can go through to do the stimulation when you were kind of sharing all the things that could be helped. I was like, wow, who knew that there was a treatment for it? You say even ADHD mm -hmm. and so many other types of um, diseases that really do block people's full potential. And so that's so great that people can get those services. And then let's talk about Spravato. Yeah. What is that? So Spravato is intranasal S ketamine, right? And ketamine is a molecule that we know that's used generally for anesthesia. And what they learned is that ketamine can be very beneficial for mental health. Mm -hmm. And so Janssen or Johnson & Johnson took that chemical and made it a nasal spray, half the molecule into a nasal spray, mm -hmm. and it's approved to treat depression, treatment resistant depression, and also acute suicidality. And we mm -hmm. find um, that there's a lot of success with it. And one of the reasons is, is we're treating a completely different pathway than yeah. what we treat with the pill. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I can tell you that there are medications out there that uh, one that's being used and others that are out there that are designed to help go down that same pathway, right? So mm -hmm. we're kind of stepping away from the old trend mm -hmm. and creating some options that can actually be very successful for folks. Okay, and then what is the final treatment that you offer? Um, so we also, as of um, July 1st, we'll be offering IV ketamine infusions here mm -hmm. at Viking Psychiatry as well. Mm -hmm. um, for the folks who maybe aren't eligible for Spravato, right, mm -hmm. um, and need a treatment option availability uh, when not covered by insurance, or maybe mm -hmm. they have a diagnosis that isn't covered for Spravato. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to say we have a couple other things in the pipeline that I'm sure we'll get to talk about uh, in upcoming months. So. Yeah, well, I'm really excited about diving in deeper and learning about your practice and really providing these tools on a weekly basis because it's just something that we need to learn about. Because if we don't know our options, we cannot get the proper treatment. And so if someone is interested in learning more about your company and just understanding if you are the right fit for them, how should they go about contacting you? Absolutely. They can stop uh, by going to vikingpsychiatry.com mm -hmm. or we also, to make it easy, vikingpsych.net. Mm -hmm. um, and they can go in, look at our website, see some videos, uh, get some more information and then they're welcome to call in. We also welcome people to stop in if they want to and talk to one of our staff members. We have fresh baked warm cookies um, and they can stop in, have a cookie and talk to one of our staff yeah. um, and we can help get them set up and take a step in the right direction. I love that. And the cookies are fresh hourly, right? Well, not hourly, <laughs> but just about. Yeah, just but about. Otis, Otis Spunkemeyer, you can't go wrong with a right. nice warm fresh cookie. <laughs> and some treats and I see a popcorn machine. Mm -hmm. It's a really um, nice calming environment. Yeah, regretfully, there's a lot of stigma to mental health, right? Yeah. And when you go to a lot of places, there's still a very sterile feel, right, right to mental yeah. health. And mental health shouldn't be sterile. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be uh, scrubs and white walls, right? We mm -hmm. want people to come in and feel relaxed and feel comfortable and uh, know that they're taking a step in the right direction and maybe have that cookie that just puts a little bit of a bright spot in the day yeah. um, because we really need that. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sean. Thank we you. It was such a pleasure it. to talk to you. You too. And if you would like more information about Viking Psychiatry, we'll have their website listed below, and I'll see you after the break. This segment sponsored by Viking Psychiatry.